Greetings, brothers and sisters, your weekly pastor's message. And we are beginning to kick off our everything this, this fall. Um, we have our school year getting going. Um, but, if, but it's a good time of life, especially in our families, you know, is, is taking seriously the Lord's call of, of forming our children in the faith. And, and parents, of course, have that sacred responsibility um, uh, given to them by God. Uh, but of course, the parish is here to help and, and to help our parents lead their kids into that life-changing encounter with Jesus Christ and to grow and flourish in the Lord's grace. And so, uh, so we have coming up August 28th, we are going to have a kickoff meeting, parent meeting for sacramental preparation and family of faith. Uh, that will be after the 8.30 Mass, about 9.45. And, and so uh, if you have you know, school-age children uh, in the elementary and, and lower grades to, to be a part of that, and, and to, this is a great way to help facilitate that, that formation in Christ. Also, to put on your uh, calendars, save the date, September 25th, we are kicking off our youth evangelization and confirmation uh, process and, and, and time. We have David Ochoa, as you as you've probably saw, as our new uh, coordinator of youth evangelization. Uh, and so he'll be teaming up with Julian Durko for the confirmation formation for, for students and parents. Uh, so just September 25th, save the date, we're gonna have our kickoff. Many of you know, especially if you go to the 830 Mass, we have our children's Schola Cantorum which is our, our, chil our, our children's choir. And we're uh, wanting to announce that they are accepting new auditions for the upcoming liturgical year. Uh, for stu these are for students in grades three, four, five, and six, grades three through six. Uh, singers rehearse on Thursdays from 3.20 to 4.20 and sing at, for mass every Sunday at 8.30. Our Schola Cantorum is a special group of committed young singers who learn and sing sacred music for Mass. And it's a tremendous way of, of learning music and learning how to read music. And I'm just, I'm really excited about it. It's always been a dream of mine at the parish, any parish I've served in, is to have this children's choir and to, to uh, lead them in, in, the, in this rich and powerful heritage of sacred music. Uh, but also, it's, it's, a, it's an actual choir, so all singers must audition, uh, but the membership is free. And if you are interested and can make this commitment, uh, visit the website under um, SCOLA or speak to uh, Alex McCune after Mass. When you come to Mass, often you're greeted by somebody and somebody who gives you one of like the music sheet and the bulletin. Those are our porters and very important uh, a position in the parish often is, is the face and the words uh, for a lot of people, especially visitors and people who may just beginning to come back to Mass. The Lord has stirred their heart and they're probably pretty nervous about coming and to have that person smile and welcome them. It doesn't have to, it doesn't have to be something big, but just that, that smile and, and welcome and to make them feel uh, at home and answer some questions if they have any. Uh, those are our porters and we're, we're in need of porters at all the masses on the, on the weekend. Uh, the duties are, as, a, as a said here, easy peasy and requires minimal time. Uh, this is a great way to have an impact uh, in evangelization of people who are, who are coming to mass. So uh, uh, please, if, if you have um, uh, any, if you're interested or have any questions, just call the parish office. Uh, the, the, the commitment is pretty, pr pretty minimal. It's 30 minutes prior to the start of mass. And, and maybe about 10 to 15 minutes after Mass ends. So it can fit with whatever Mass you're currently going to and just a great way to, again, to, to spread the gospel of Jesus uh, to those who are coming to Mass. In September, we have coming up our first Thursday Healing Holy Hour. We had an earlier one this summer, uh, which was a great, had a great turnout, and we want to keep doing it because that ongoing healing, that inner healing that the Lord does for us. So that is going to be Thursday, September 1st at 6 p.m. in the church. It'll be one hour. It will conclude with benediction and a, just a great time to, to come to adore the Lord in the Blessed Sacrament. Go to confession if you'd like. You get prayed with a team if you'd like. There's a guided meditation on, on a, a scripture passage. 
uh, just a, a lot to, to be, just to soak in the Lord's love and grace. Uh, so pl to pl please come. If you've, if you've never been before, the Lord, I, I, I promise you, you will leave with at least some inkling of, uh, of grace and, the, and of a, a deeper love of the Lord. On September 10th and 11th, we have our annual uh, celebration of our apostolates, all the volunteer opportunities at the parish, and there's tons of them in all different areas. Uh, we're going to be having that September 10th and 11th. September 10th, after the 5.30 Mass, we'll have our Saturday night social. And then on Sunday, we'll have our barbecue after the 11 o'clock Mass. Uh, and it's a great way to be involved. I mean, this the mission that we have at Christ the King needs you to participate in some way. And that's why I'm going to ask all of our parishioners to sign up for one thing. Be involved in one thing. Uh, here at the parish, and we'll have more than enough help to to f further our mission. Uh, so and it'll be a lot of fun too. Uh, those have been the, there last year, and we're gonna again we're gonna have some live music and some singing, some sing along as well. So it'll it'll just it'll just be a lot of fun. So so please come. That's that's September 10th after the 5:30, and September 11th after the 11. Coming up also on September 11th, we have our training for child protection. It's called Empowering God's Children. And this is something that the Archdiocese wants to make sure that all of our, our children ha uh, have that training. I know a lot of parents have, t have told me that they, you know, often their children get it at, at, the, at the Catholic school. Sometimes even say public school has, has that training. Um, but if your child is in need of this, uh, to go ahead and register. And we need to have people pre-register uh, beforehand, just so we know uh, who's, who is coming. Uh, so there's um, registration uh, with Julianne Durko and, uh, at her email at evangelization at ctk.cc. On Sunday, September 18th, we have our baptism prep class, which we offer periodically. That will be at 945, that is about after the 830 Mass. Uh, so if you're a parent of an infant or young child in need of baptism or, or you have a child on the way or if you've been asked to be a godparent, uh, a baptism class is, is required. So uh, please register with Julie and or consult our webpage on, on the website under baptism. And then later in September, this will be Tuesday, September 20th and Wednesday, September 21st, we are kicking off our Bible study for the year. So that will be at Tuesday uh, at 6.45 after the evening Mass, so come to the evening Mass and go on into Bible study, or Wednesday at 9.15 after the morning Mass, so you can come to the morning Mass and, and go into Bible study. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. God bless you.